inspection going. Feel me? I think I got a low. Might have to add air to this tire here. Get under there. Mm. This light is out. Oh, got a flat here. Definitely got to add air there. Good. The lift ups is good. to the Bronx so they were doing two round trips and we're finishing with a stone to Brooklyn so two loads of stone to the Bronx two loads of washout from the Bronx to Queens and one load from Queens to Brooklyn right now it's 4 38 a.m. let's hope for a good day today you know what I mean with traffic with the OT All that good stuff. Pulling into the spot. Looks like there's no trucks. No other trucks ahead of me. About to back right in. You know what I mean? <laughs> My God. Let the operator know I want stone. Oh, Just filled up that tire. Now we about to get up out of here. You feel me? That tire was real low. That's why you always gotta inspect your truck. Had I not inspected my truck, I would have not known I had a flat tire. Man. All right, so change of plans, y'all. So originally I was supposed to come to the Bronx, take a load to Queens, come back to the Bronx, take a load to Queens, come from Queens to Brooklyn. Now I'm just gonna stay in the Bronx running back and forth. Literally um, a three minute drive back and forth. So I'm gonna do as many loads as I can back and forth. Hello? Go. 
that's the most annoying thing when they overload and you have to go back dump some out um and then come all the way back around and get on the scale especially in this place you know what i mean uh this it rarely happens but when it does it's really annoying because in this spot if this truck's on line you gotta wait on the line again you know what i mean so because over here this is a scrap metal spot and different trucks come here it's not just not just dump trucks you know so it is really annoying Stopping for some good old breakfast now, you feel me? That good old breakfast, you know what I mean? Healthy breakfast too. Gotta stay healthy. Can't say it enough. Nice little tuna melt, you know what I mean? Coffee. I gotta have coffee every morning. Even though it doesn't keep me up, it don't do nothing for me. I just love the taste, and if I don't have it, I get a headache. You know what I mean? Coffee's my shit. Um. When I used to drive far to all these places, you know, when I had when I had that job, I would drive four, five hours away, and I would go regional, whatever it is. I used to try to drink coffee to keep me up, but that that ain't work. You know what I mean? Not even Rebel, nothing, nothing works for me. Only thing that works for me is C4, and that's a pre-workout for when I go to the gym. You know, when you're done driving the truck, you be all exhausted and all that. So when you try to go to the gym after work, you're all exhausted. So take a little take a little dose of C4 you know what I mean that'll get you going that's the only thing that could keep me up is C4 coffee Red Bull none of that works for me. It's, just, it's just for taste running the red light I'm trying to be for the red light now I am. sand here it's another thing I hate about this place operators never here when you get here there he is over there because this is a recycling plant as well then they got one operator doing two things so if he goes over there pushes the garbage recycle whatever he does the metal and then he comes over here so he's you got one operator doing two things that's another thing I, I I don't like about this uh, this spot over here. Huh. These are the things you got to deal with. Other spots that are dedicated to just aggregates, you just get there, they load you right away. You're in and out in two minutes. I mean.
So that's basically what I'm going to be doing all day. Back and forth. As you see, it's just a few blocks away. You know, I could do 10 loads, 15 loads, whatever it is, until, until they need me. Until they need me to fill up. And we're back again. Just like that. Usually it's a half hour round trip. So, in an hour you do two loads. You feel me? Sometimes even less than a half hour. Stone! Getting stone this time, I'm switching it up. I'm gonna bring one and one. One stone, one sand, one stone, one sand. You feel me? So, yeah, sometimes it could take 24 minutes. I've, I've timed myself before, but it would take 24 minutes, 19 minutes round trip. I mean, that's if everything is on point. Then this time the operator's there already loading a 10 wheeler. So I should be able to go right away and get up out of here. I mean, gotta wait for the sanitation truck to get out the way so that I could uh, swing right and make this turn. Sometimes there'd be a lot of these guys here in the way, you know what I mean? And they block you from turning. Sometimes they have no consideration for everybody else behind them. You know what I mean? But this guy just moved pretty quick. So, so you good. On this side. And this is what I mean about this scare. Remember I told you guys earlier that sometimes like, let's say they overload you. First of all, sometimes you gotta wait on this line and then you get scaled and if they overload you, then you gotta go back and take some out and sometimes wait on the line again. That is the most annoying thing ever. I'd rather them load me a little less than to load me extra know you know I get paid for extra for overweight but for one thing is we don't want to be illegal and number two is we don't want to have to go back and then wait on the line because time is money you feel me that is time is money so it's not only a, a aggregate spot got the metal over there, you know, they jump cars, all of that. Back there we got the, back there you got the recycling, like uh, cardboard recycling and cans and glass and all that. time with 118 so no need to go back like I said it rarely happens because they have a scale in the machine you know um, sometimes if you get on the operator's bad side they might give you an extra scoop throw a little extra weight in there so that you do have to go back so you don't want to get on the operator's bad side you feel me and that's how it is bro It's happened to me before where I would um, think I got stoned and I back into the sand bin and dump the stone or open up, pop the tailgate and I pop the tailgate in the sand bin. Then I gotta go tell the operator that I'm sorry. I popped the tailgate in the wrong bin. 
so you always just gotta pay attention. This part of the Bronx is the hood mixed with an industrial area. So you go right up the block, it's the hood. You come to this block, and this is like the industrial area. This is where all the food comes in through. There's a bunch of food distribution, uh, warehouses around here, and also um, a lot of junkyards around here with junk cars and stuff like that. You get used car parts and all that in this part of the Bronx right here. This is Hunts Point. Well, the, the other block this way, that's Hunts Point. The other street. You wanna get um, a part for your car? Here's the spot. You wanna junk your car? Here's the spot. You know what I mean? But, um, like I said, the Bronx is different. Bronx is different. You deal with a different breed of people over here. You know what I mean?
off this now. Now we really out. Thirty-seven. Yeah.
day can't complain got my loads done out the way it's 2 20 p.m. nice little 10 hour day you know what I mean